Spencer Lewis here from PeterBailSpeedway.com. We're talking about the 2014 edition of the Autumn Colors Classic. I'm here with probably the newest member of the Oscar Modified Tour, really and truly. He's going to make his debut at the Autumn Colors Classic, Daniel Bois the Bull, former Lucas, Lucas Oil TQ Canine Midget Champion. I mean, Daniel, there's, it's an it's a awesome story how this all sort of came together, so I'm not even going to tell it for you. Tell me about how you found yourself uh, in, in this position, able to come up with the Oscar Modified Tour at the Classic. I guess you could say I got friends in high places. <laughs> um, I just been friends with uh, Shane Gowan for years, and we talked about doing something for the last few years. Um, I've been really trying to weasel my way into his uh, super ride. <laughs> we had talked a bit about that, and uh, he showed a little bit of interest in it. And you know, the more we talked, uh, the more we we found out that we worked well together. And uh, him and his wife decided to go in on this uh, mod deal. They had a, a killer deal to get this mod, so they, they uh, inquired it in the Gowan Racing Stable and uh, called me and said, listen, I got the car. He said, do you want to work something out? And I said, I'd love to. I've wanted to run Autumn Colors since I was you know, knee high to a grasshopper. So uh, now that I get a chance to do that, I'm, I'm over the moon. You can't wipe the can't wipe the smile off my face. I think I'm more excited about running the Autumn Colors Classic than I am my first NCAT race that I ran at Mosport. So uh, it's uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Now I see a lot of people know you as a competitor, but I don't think a lot of people know you. you're you're a fan through and through. And I mean I think there's a difference. Like a lot of drivers love racing, but they don't love watching racing. There's there's a big difference. And you're you're there at the Classic every year. I see you there, whether you got a car there or not. I know mean, you've never had a car there because. The, the TQs don't run at the Classic. So why, why does this event so, mean so much to you, and, and why is this the one that you, that you wanted to do uh, when getting behind the wheel of Shane Gallon's car? You know, that's a hard question to answer. I think the easiest way for me to answer that is it's kind of the show that every driver in Ontario wants to win. So the fact that I wasn't even competing in it was, it, it kind of felt, you know, there's a little emptiness you feel, you know. But uh, now that to even have the shot at winning, um, and it's, it's, it's tough for me to say I have a shot because, you know, I've, I've never even raced with the mod guys. So it's hard to say if I can even keep up with them. But you know what? At least I know I'm in a good car and with a good team so i've got that covered part now i just have to do my job and try to get up there but yeah it's just it's the crown jewel it's it's the it's the show that everybody in ontario wants to win um and you know definitely it's top of my bucket list for for sure i mean you you, you had your first test session last week i believe yes. tell, tell me how that went uh, i was phenomenal i i've never been so happy with a car right off the you know right out of the uh, right off the trailer usually i have few things that I want to change but there's literally even down to the seat belts and the, the way the seat fit me and uh, I just it felt perfect went out there did some laps and Shane I, I asked Shane how it was um, like right I came on the radio after my first session I said how was that and he just started laughing he was like man you're fast so that was a that was a great feeling coming from Shane for him to say that so now I know that gallon racing at least the modified portion of gallon racing is it's relatively new operation to sort of, sort of start up so is there room for advancement here in terms of your relationship with Shane or is this a one-off appearance oh yeah there's there's room to grow um, we're gonna try the autumn colors classic and then we'll look at 2015 and say you know make a decision whether or not we're gonna go full-time modified we're gonna go full-time something else but we're definitely gonna look at it and that's you know it's something that's possible for to go for rookie of the year um, but who knows until until you know until we see how this goes. Now I know that everybody gets to see you, they know you, but they don't know the people behind the scenes, they don't know the marketing partners and the, and the guys at the shop. And thank the folks that are, that are really gonna make this all come together. Cause I mean, if you, to go out to the classic, to be there for you know three or four days, it, it takes a lot. Thank the folks that are gonna make it happen. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Eric Belisario is probably one of my biggest fans and he also owns Thermo Technology Services. And Thermo Technologies has given me my start in pretty much everything. So uh, without him, I definitely wouldn't be there. Uh, everybody knows who Mike Schmidt is if you're a race fan. Mike Schmidt with London Recreational Racing. He, he does so much for this, you know, this sport and uh, I couldn't be there without Mike either. Um, you know, Autoglam uh, is an auto wax company out of Britain actually and for them to support local track racing, they're new to Canada, uh, I, you know, it's pretty cool that they're doing that so, you know, I'm, I'm happy that they're on board. I uh, also got to thank Epic Racewear. They've got a wicked new race suit coming out and it'll be ready for uh, Autumn Colors Classic for me with the thermo technologies all over it. And you know, I got to thank SL Promotions too because 
you know, you do a lot for all of us, Spencer, <laughs> and we all appreciate it. So. And follow him on Twitter at DB Auto Sport. What's the What's the Facebook page? It's something similar to that. I'd say you could just follow me at Daniel Bois, there you or, go. or even just add me at Daniel Bois, and you can get add to see all everything I do. He's <laughs> awesome. And check him out. Come and come to the Autumn Colors Classic, October 10th, 11th, and 12th. Come have a beer with Daniel in the campground. He's fun. I promise you. He's a good. He's a good dude. Daniel, all the best, man. I mean, this is this is a real cool adventure between yourself and Shane Gowan. Hopefully, we see more of you in 2015 on the tour. I think the modified guys would uh, would really enjoy having you around. I appreciate it, Spencer. I couldn't be happier to run for you know Shane, his wife, his wife Charmaine, and Kelly as well. They're they're just a great team to be a part of, and I'm looking forward to it. Daniel Boas coming to the Oscar Modified Tour.